Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video and gameplay on this Keg OTK deck featuring the new Mischievous Mirai. So this deck originally was uh, created, kind of brought to light by Dave Bo. Um, uh, I will say that I also had the same idea, and I think a couple people had the same idea. As soon as they saw this Mischievous Mirai card, they kind of thought, oh, haha, Keg OTK. You know, we're like, oh, what if you could actually play like legitimate Keg OTK now by calming off a bunch of cheap spells, um, making the Keg not die, and then just going like, warning shot, warning shot, warning shot. And just like stacking like that um and so he released his deck list Dave Bo did and then it got kind of refined by she who and she who went on an insane run i think he went like eight and oh or nine and oh with it or something like crazy with it um and so this is what this is this is she who's deck list um and so for those those of you that don't know or might be interested in what the combo is um basically mischievous mirai says whenever you play a spell you summon a keg so the idea is you play mischievous mirai and then you either summon a keg with a uh, deck hand or you just play any burst speed spell that isn't a damaging spell um, so, like, the first part of line up where it just creates a keg um, works. Uh, I and Dr. Kaboros works. Salvage works. Any spell you generate off of, like, um, coral creatures, like any burst spell that, again, doesn't do damage works. And then once you have this created keg, you cast Divine Judgment on it. So the keg can't die. Um, and what that means is that the keg can't sacrifice itself whenever you play a damaging spell. Because it says, destroy me whenever you your spell or skill damages an enemy or the enemy nexus. Well, with the um, divine judgment on it, it can't die. So it doesn't destroy itself because it can't be destroyed. So basically what this means is you get Mirai, uh, Mischievous Mirai in play. You cast any spell to create a, war, uh, a, uh, a keg. Then you cast Divine Judgment on that keg, creating another keg, but then also making it so that keg can't die for the round. And then you cast things like, here, get out of my way, Divine Judgment. Then you cast things like multiple warning shocks because then they start to stack damage into a line up. So for example, two warning shots and a line them up is uh, 15 damage. So that means the line up is going to give you one keg. And then the Mischievous Mirai Warden gives you a second keg. Then the Divine Judgment on that keg gives you a third keg. And then the uh, knock em down portion gives you a fourth keg. And this knock em down does five damage now. Because you have four kegs. And then you it deals one originally. So that's five damage. And then a Warning Shot uh, adds a fifth keg and then deals six damage. And then a second Warning Shot adds a seventh keg and deals eight damage. And so that alone right there, your two kegs is 15 damage. And then with the line them up, uh, that uh, kills them because it, it'll, it'll just lethal them at that point. So that's a nice way to OTK them. Um, and that's basically what we're going to be looking for is ways to kind of get these kegs, um, make them stack, don't die with Divine Judgment. And we're going to see if we can burst speed some, some lethal, burst speed people because uh, that's very fun and interactive. And yeah, that's the plan. So before we get into the games, I want to remind you guys, if you could like, comment, subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, this video is for Winston, as you saw by the title. Uh, and it's definitely not because I just didn't have a thumbnail for this and Sarah made me that one. So I'm going to use it. Um, Shouts to Winston. Sorry, the thumbnail doesn't have really anything to do with it, but this video is kind of last minute. I needed a video for Friday because I didn't do a sweaty Thursday because there aren't any tournaments coming up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it. Enjoy the games. All right, so... We're gonna try this deck out. Apparently it's just like pretty decent. Um, get rid of that. Oh, I want the warning shot, I want the TF. I want the early game, but we're probably okay to just like pass and play kind of slowly. But yeah, this deck was invented by Dave Bo and uh, has been kind of refined a little bit more by Shihu. And this is the version we're playing is the Shihu version. And I actually also had this exact same idea whenever I originally saw the we're gonna try to push some damage here when i originally saw the keg maker girl i was like mm, there's probably some way to like abuse that to otk people um and it did not take long for the community to find that so uh like i said in the intro uh i explained it where you just want uh to push five damage and then two kegs plus the uh line them up is lethal so that's what we're going to try and do so we have we're gonna have triple uh what's it called wowie kind of high rolled this with the parlay Let's go ahead and just use that here. We're just gonna go ahead and do that. Force them to out like a sharp side or something. That's fine by me, because then they're not casting six mana next turn. So we pushed our five damage, so now we have a uh, lethal, basically. And that's really all it took. That's all it took. Any extra damage at this point just makes things easier. They know they can't take too much more damage, and then we can just simply kill them on turn six. Like we actually just have lethal on actually no, because we need to get all three warning shots. So it'll be turn seven. My bad. We're going to burst speed lethal them on turn 7. Excuse me. 
All right, so we do that. We hit the nab, we hit the allegiance. So also, yeah, assuming we hit the allegiance. Um, assuming we hit the allegiance. So let me make sure again, because if we do this, play spell, summon a counter spell, or spell. Oh yeah, we also need a spell to trigger the, uh, to trigger the girl originally. So we're gonna do that, that's fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just play, simply play another one. We took their albus, which is pretty big. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. That card's a pretty good card to get. So that will give us a spell to activate our Mirai. Um, we're kind of chilling. Like I said, I would ideally we get like a lineup, but we just have lethal. Um, sure. We do this. We take two. We're not under really any pressure at all. Um, so let's see if we draw a spell. If we do draw a spell, I'm down to just like play the mischievous warden. I'm also down to just pass. We drew a make it rain, which is pretty good. Um, I'm also down, like I said, just to pass and see what they're gonna do because they have to spend some amount of mana here. Uh, I'm still down to just like pass and force them into something. So now they spent all their mana or spent enough mana to where they can't kill this. Uh, I'm pretty happy. So we can click pass. We still don't have a great way to uh, to trigger this. So we need a burst speed spell here. Oh, okay. So we have this spell here, but that's not uh, enough mana you would think, except for this card is broken and refills all of your spell mana. So now we can simply just like kill them at burst speed. So we do this, we get our keg. We do this. I think this is enough mana. This goes to two. And then so four, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that. Yep, and we warning shot for four. Warning shot for five. And warning shot for six. And we just burst speed killed them on turn seven. We burst OTK'd them on turn seven. And if we had one more uh, warning shot or a, uh, if we had a warning shot or a, uh, like I said, line up. That was literally just like a 20 to 0 OTK. So, very cool. Literally, first game. So, 1 0. 100% win rate so far. Kale. So, this is just elites, right? There's just like Garen, Kale, and then the uh, the Jarvan. So, elites, not too crazy. We just have to push a little bit of damage. Uh, this hand, all in all, is pretty okay. This gives me like a pretty cheap blocker. These give me ways to kind of remove their two drop, which is the biggest problem in this deck. Um, and we get, we get some chumpers. So, yeah, we can go. Uh, Deck hand, which is good. So we can go like deck hand on two, make it rain on three. We don't have priority, which kind of sucks. Um, but it just kind of is what it is. This is a decent blocker. Again, nothing too crazy. Uh, we're just going to click OK. And I'm also just down to like pass here and not let my opponent play their um, like 2 2 for free. So I think that's what we're going to do is we're just going to pass. Maybe we scare them into not playing their 2 2. Who knows? Um, I don't remember the name, like Armor Smith, Battlesmith, something like that. We're going to see what they have here. Because if they play anything not named Battlesmith, I just don't think we care. But they have the Battlesmith. So, what we can do is basically just this. See if we found a way to kill it. Give an enemy vulnerable this round. If it dies, let's round deal one to the enemy nexus. Um, I mean, we could do that just to kind of kill off this hound. And then we make it more likely that our, our make it rain kills the battlesmith next turn. So let's go and do that. Um, let's do that. And then we can just like deckhand into make it rain or set up like deckhand into twisted fate and be fine. Like we can deckhand post combat. Because I'm sure they're just going to play like three mana, five, five. And then, um, yep. Three mana, five, five. We're going to click OK. We're going to block with our one, two. And then we can just go deckhand, TF, red card. Be happy. Deckhand, TF, red card. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. Get rid of good old Battlesmith. If they do have a sharp side or something for it, uh, make it rain doesn't really do it, but... At least they're not playing another unit this turn, or at least like a big unit. They could play a small one. Sharp side. So yeah, so here we just make it rain. Does not matter. Um, they have to have second sharp sight, which good for them, I guess. All right, cool. And now our two one tra or two two trades into this, and that's all we need. We just need to buy time. Um, three three. Sure. Um, I think I'm just gonna double swing. If they kill off my TF, I want that because I could just immediately TF red card again. 
Because um, unless they develop like exactly Garen, I'll be sad. If they develop anything that's not exactly Garen, I'm pretty okay. Like Kale doesn't give plus one plus one. Uh, it is exactly Garen. So I mean, let's just coral creatures. We still get some good blocks. And eh, jailbreak's kind of whatever. Uh, we can't just block here. And we'll set up, we'll keep Jailbreak to set up the Mischievous Mirai for lethal. We are missing, we have like zero warning shots and stuff like that for us. Um, so let's go and try and get some of that. Let us zap it. Zap it, zap it. There's one warning shot. Um, they can block that. So, I mean, let's just pass. This is going to be a huge issue. Dealing with this, Garen. Not going to lie. Yeah, Garen was like the only card. I guess Bannerman also. Like, Garen and Bannerman were the only cards there that really helped them. If they played other stuff, we were kind of okay. But, yeah, this is kind of rough. Champion Strength. Wow. Um. Yeah, I mean, they have Scout. Your units have Scout. We are going to stun the Garen so the Garen doesn't level. So that's good. But I don't think it matters. I think we're probably just dead. Because again, we just like don't have, um, like we just don't have ways to push lethal. We don't have warning shots. Like we do this, and we have to block all three. Let's see what we draw here. Oh, nice. We drew Mariah Warden. That's nice. Okay. So we can sack our TF. We don't have to lose our zap, which is nice. Do, do, do. So we don't have to lose our zap, which is nice. And we still have our Mariborn for here. So we're just not having a good time pushing damage here. We need another, like, make it rain really bad. Oh, wait, do it. Is that. That's not lethal, right? Because we can do this. Yeah, we don't have burst speed lethal. Um, Maybe we do. So this takes it to one two three four so three it makes a deal four damage five just we can deal nine so we have to have to find a way to push six more damage which is just like impossible um but i think we cannot die which is very important here um the fact that we cannot die is very good so let's just play this make sure we get a blocker okay got a blocker so let's go ahead and See one, two, three, four, five. We can also be five wide. So let's go ahead and zap. And then again, we want to save this jailbreak for whenever we we want to save the jailbreak for whenever we have mischievous warden. So we can push. They're gonna push two damage here. No, because they're too wide from us now. So now we have to play this to make sure we're also six wide, and just hope they don't have like single combat or something. Another elusive unit. I mean, that's pretty cool. Doesn't really matter. So we can pass. Um, if they have another champion strength, I think we just kind of lose the game. We also just don't have a way to proc this now because we had to use that as a blocker. Um. Yeah, so let's go ahead and not die. So let's go ahead and not die. How does that sound? And we have enough mana to, uh, I believe we have enough mana to kill them at burst speed now. Because we can do this. Uh, we have 11 mana, which is exactly enough for this into Divine Judgment. So I'm hoping they go for like a single combat or concerted or something here. They don't. We're going to cast it anyways. Okay. And we're going to try and go for lethal next turn. Let's see if we draw it. Uh, any burn spell gets us there. Ooh, slow speed burn. Oh, wait, no, that gets us there. Because it's not slow speed. Because it's slow speed that we get it. But they still die. All right, cool. So we're able to pull this win out of our ass. Um, <laughs> we're able to just pull this win out of, out of nowhere. A game that we should not have won. Which, I guess we had uh, lethal anyways. So we had lethal anyways um, without the grifter, but 
Grifter made it super lethal. Wow, I cannot believe we actually won that game. Um, yeah, just put up enough blockers, hope they don't have rallies, and that's it. We put up enough blockers, we got there, and we were chilling. The second uh, the second Divine got us there, but a, a lot of spells would have got us there also. Um, but cool, very happy with that. Very happy. All right, so we're against Auction Karma. Not too sure what this is. Maybe it's some sort of, like, co combo or infinite deck. God, I hope it's not another infinite deck. I really hope it's not another infinite deck where they're using the seven mana girl to, like, uh, the new seven mana card to half all of their spells cost. I really hope it's not that. I really, really do. So, yeah, so, yeah, so... Our goal this game? Combo. Just combo them, silly. So, this shouldn't be a very aggressive deck, which is good. This deck also just doesn't have removal. Or, sorry, these regions just, like, don't have removal. So, we can probably just, like, slam our 5-mana cost unit down and probably just try to win the game matchups like these is where it's really good um matchups are just light on removal and they're doing weird shenanigan stuff um if they played auction there i very much was just gonna go parlay make it rain and kill their kill their auction that's fine uh let's go ahead and just i draw some cards play it nice and slow we don't gotta get crazy we don't got to do anything crazy. So Mirai Warden's pretty cool. Let's Coral Creatures set up for the Make It Rain and some Mirai Wardens just apply some pressure. We're not Vagabond, sure. So there's Mirai Warden. And I'm half tempted to just like proactively Make It Rain just to force a save spell out of their hand. Um, Sure. Let's just proactively Make It Rain. See if we can get like a something like a twin or sharp shape stone. Uh, I'm sure momentous choice. That's fine. We push two damage here. Probably not too worth it. Um, yeah, we can just slow down. We can keep playing slow. Keep forcing spells out of their hand. You know, we can like parlay. We can be pretty happy. Let's parlay here. Try and force out another spell. Tax their mana. If they do another momentous choice, I was going to say I'm down to just like line them up to make sure it dies. Uh, and then we can Grifter. Always hit. Always hit. And this is a pretty nice attack. This is a pretty nice open attack, especially with the Shape Stone being able to like surprise try and kill this Karma. Nice. So let's just swing. Oh, I'm also down to just play this first. We're down to play this first to make our Shape Stone get us a keg. Oh, wait, we don't get a keg because our board is full. That's okay. So they're Wuju styling their karma. I don't know. It's like auction grappling hook. Sure. So we can't really do much against that. Um, grappling hook is like the only removal in these regions. And I guess I'm supposed to play around it. Now there's the meditate, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm down to just take this damage. Honestly, we're at getting to a point where we can kind of just like threaten to burn them down. Like, we can start, like, they're at 14. We can even make it lower. We could put them to, to 13. I don't really know if this shape stone's going to get any much more value than this. So I think we're just going to do that. Try and put them to 13. Push more damage. Show me that you have some sort of healing or something. Otherwise, I mean, we could very much just burn you without the keg girl. Uh, I did play pretty reckless, but again, like, closed deck lists kind of make you do that. You don't get to play around the good cards, and you don't get to make the good plays. Obviously, if I had open deck lists and knew what my opponent was playing, I would have never done that. I can just sit here and push this little amount of damage, pass until they're completely tapped out, or pass until a new turn or something, and then wait. Oh, and uh, do I want to end this turn? I kind of do. Um, I feel like they're going to Sonic Wave me or something. Let's just zap, draw some cards. I'm not afraid of what they're doing at all, really. Um, Spirit's Refuge. Okay. I mean... Okay. I don't care. Again, if I knew they put Spirit's Refuge, I wouldn't have shoved my Shapestone for one damage. 
Um, yeah, I mean, you're doing it. I wanted to shove my shape stone for one damage because I would have known that damage is basically irrelevant until they're dead. But it's all good, man. It's all good, man. We can try to kill off this karma um, with like TF gold card and stuff. Okay. So same deal. We can just like deck hand gold card line them up. Seems like a very reasonable play. We could even just do like a red card. Desert duel, huh? Um, I mean, I think I'm just going to go ahead and warning shot them so they don't have, they don't get the, the thing. And that's fine. And then now we just play second deck hand. And we can override our 1-1 one, one and, or sorry, our 1-3 and gold card here. Never lost a fair game. You played one. Force out another save spell. Sure, but at least they're not blocking this turn and we get to push a load of damage. I also could have warning shot there to not waste the keg because obviously dealing three damage to this doesn't matter. Um, but this is a good amount of damage here. This is a fairly good amount of damage. Divine Judgment gets us there. So I'm going to block with here, see what we get. Maybe I'm also supposed to just pass because we know he played Spirit's Refuge. Yeah, I think there's a chance I'm supposed to just like take that. Um, we can do this, which is like really funny. So they actually don't gain any life. Um, and I think we're just like have enough burn with the Mariah that it's okay. Maybe if I was going to do that play, I'd just, like, do it on my Twisted Fate. Like, that probably just makes the most sense. Uh, but we're okay, I think. Yeah, we just end the turn here. We just go for an attack. They have leveled Karma, but hey, what can we do about that? The answer's not really anything. So, let's go ahead and just swing. Push our six damage. Oh, nice. We drew another one anyways. Because we do be high rolling. But, I mean, putting you to six is a pretty good number. If they have third Spirit's Refuge, we now have the counterplay, <laughs> which is quite funny. But uh, now I believe they just kind of die at burst speed before they have the chance to really do anything. Because we can play Warden into Jettison into line them up, and that's like one, uh, two, three, four, and then, yeah, they just die at burst speed now. So, nothing they can do. Yep. So nothing they can do. Pretty cool combo deck. Um, I really hope this deck isn't actually that good. It seems very, like, reliant on drawing the right cards or hitting the right matchups. And if you don't hit the right cards or the right matchups, then you're just, like, kind of sad. So, um, yeah, we're going to put them to one. And then we have line them up, knock them down, and we have parlay. So probably chilling. Probably big chilling here. Line them up, knock them down. And yeah, have life gain and or deny. Nopify, sure, man. So this is a generated Nopify. We're going to Coral Creatures. And we're just going to parlay your face again. And let's see if you have another Nopify deny. And they have an actual Nopify, a main deck to Nopify, okay. That's fine, um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think this deck's actually going to be too good. Uh, it really seems matchup dependent. Um, like, I think against elites, it's probably okay. I think against decks that just have like 50 million removal spells, it's whatever, because you can't really OTK them. Um, oh God, am I just dead? Karma created Absolver. Karma created Ghost into created Absolver. That is definitely a string of cards. That's definitely a string of cards. Um, 
but it, they also created the notify that stopped me so in most circumstances that's a w um so i'm gonna leave it in the video because again that just shows you like the deck power in most circumstances that's a w again they had to create exactly like notify deny or some sort of like burst speed life gain um they did that they also had to generate ways to kill us and they did that not only did they generate ghosts or the uh, absolver but they generated ghosts i don't think just absolver was enough um because i think i was at 15 and he was dealing 17 i know he was dealing 15 i don't know maybe it was enough um i, I think it would have been enough so just the absolver there was enough but they you know generated the absolver is what it is i'm not going to get too upset about that don't can't get too upset about cards that are generated that you can't really play around so um i definitely misplayed that game but again gonna chalk that one up to closed deck list closed deck list suck um I just played incorrectly because my opponent's playing removal spells. Probably could have assumed that uh, either way, but when you're playing against unfamiliar deck types, you play against a bunch of cards is what it is. So not upset, not going to complain about that game. Um, we win that game like 85% of the time in normal circumstances. So cool. Uh, it works for me. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, deck's very cool. I don't know how good it is, to be honest with you. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, sometimes it feels really, really broken because you just like win the game on turn six or turn seven in some matchups. And in some matchups, you just like feel like you can never win. So it, it only time will tell if this deck is actually good or some variant of this. But the fact that just like multiple top players immediately thought about when they saw this uh, card, they just immediately thought about Keg OTK uh, really shows you how degenerate this community is in, in a very positive and good way. Um, and then also that, uh, you know... There could still be potential there. If multiple people have the same idea, the potential could still be there. Maybe we just need a more refined list or more meta that kind of suits it more. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed these games. And I'll see you guys in the next video.